Namaste beautiful yogis. Uh, today I wanted to do a video on belly binding, uh, stomach uh, wrappings, uh, girdles, belly girdles, stomach girdles, uh, postpartum uh, belly um, uh, belts and so forth. Uh, there's different ways they're called and um, I uh, wanted to just share with you my experience and uh, with it and my thoughts and my Kind of feeling about it now um, they're kind of a little bit controversial and originally when i was pregnant i started researching it and i couldn't quite decide if i'm completely convinced that they're needed because obviously i'm not into any type of corsets or um, uh, um, kind of body modifications that are that require you uh, forcing things in because of course that can be very damaging to your internal organs and corsets in general can be damaging to the internal organs and, um, and in general I don't uh, wear clothes that restrict my blood flow if they're leaving imprints I don't wear um, clothes that are leaving imprints on my body like stockings with uh, the latex uh, on top and stuff like this because you want your circulation uh, blood circulation to be um, free now on to belly uh, binding did I do belly binding during uh, my postpartum yes and I'm still doing it uh, how much did I do um, now the first five six seven I want to say maybe even uh, more than that maybe the first ten days I did it non-stop and I slept with it and I basically never even saw my belly which is another benefit because the first day after I gave birth I was the same weight that I was at right before giving birth meaning I didn't lose a pound because I had so much water retention for a couple of days it slowly started to decrease the water retention but it wasn't like overnight I just looked fine so and I didn't care because I was prepared that I'm gonna look five months pregnant right after birth so it wasn't like I had the expectation that yeah I'm not gonna look like I'm not pregnant I'll look like I'm pregnant so I and it, you get so happy with the baby you don't care anyways and if you have the right expectations it's fine if you expect that you're gonna look all swollen then you're not disappointed or you're not thinking okay something's wrong so uh, and you're so happy with the baby that it's you're in total bliss so it the belly is like the last thing on your mind um, but I did prepare my uh, belly uh, wrap I bought it before uh, I gave birth it was I, I made sure to come uh, for it to come on time so when I go to give birth uh, it's already there and I can take it I can put it on right after birth or like say eight hours after birth or whatever um, I think I do I might have taken 20 hours or 12 hours after birth to put it on because I forgot about it um, right now I'm three and a half weeks postpartum and I feel that it has um, it has helped a lot and I'll tell you why in a second now it is a, a, a tradition um, uh, belly binding is a tradition in certain old societies in uh, Malaysia in some other uh, countries in a lot of Southeast Asia it is a tradition um, some other societies have never heard of it so it's and then on the internet you'll find things against it as if it's damaging to you so it's quite a bit of controversy around it and that's why I'm doing this video I'll share also the my favorite uh, the belly binders that I would recommend and uh, use uh, so for me I came down to the conclusion that it, it is a good thing to uh, use and I will tell you why it, it did a few things for me first of all when you give birth you go from a belly <laughs> this size to a smaller belly but overnight uh, so even though with the water retention you're still bloated you're kind of empty so up until then your body has learned to adjust to all this weight forward and it's 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 figured a, a way to balance itself out all of a sudden you become empty overnight you don't become empty regressively the way you got full so it took nine months to get here and it took one night for this to eject your body to be removed from your body so there's quite a bit of shock for your body and although 
due to my workouts i didn't have back pain during my pregnancy i had a very light pregnancy with no complaints um with no uh, round uh, ligament pain with no uh, not much pelvic pain i had certain aches just for a little bit and then uh, with exercise i would address them so i had a light pregnancy but once i gave birth i felt um the first day i didn't feel much because you were still very swollen but then the following following five days i felt a lot of um tailbone pain which is was new to me uh, and uh, lower back pain tailbone pain and just a lot of other aches and pains everywhere because your uterus is shrinking contractions in the uterus and so forth so the belly binding really helped to stabilize the midsection so because i felt like i felt like i'm in two parts i was saying i uh, like i can't wait to feel like one person again <laughs> one solid piece of person because i felt like i have two parts with nothing really holding the two parts together so i felt like like a doll like real wobbly um in the midsection because nothing was holding me together and uh, your core is totally you know not activated you just feel completely wobbly so the belly binding provides support first of all it provides pressure in the front and support in the back now with the pressure in the front um i the reason why i was so not sure if i wanted to uh if i wanted to um do it is because um with uh stomach stin uh, cinching and with uh, body modification like doing all these corsets and stuff um usually you are putting a lot of pressure on your internal organs on your bladder on uh, your stomach liver you can misplace organs you're just putting pressure on the organs and it's really something that you should be careful doing but with belly binding you just put a bind uh, a belly bind that's kind of like a wrap around your belly it's not necessarily cinching you in the waist and um, it's just following your natural curves basically if you are cinched in the waist to begin with then it will go in a little bit here just to follow your natural curves but what it does it puts pressure on the uterus and because your stomach is still the first day your stomach is still where it used to be at nine months pregnant here and then slowly your uterus travels down and your organs start to uh, stomach and other organs start to return begin to return to where they originally were and that process takes six to eight weeks so at this point right now i'm three and a half weeks postpartum and my uterus is up to here somewhere up to here maybe belly button but i can you can see it where it is and uh it's uh, it's this jiggly little thing and it's actually sensitive you can feel it it feels the it was the consistency of uh, jellyfish it's very wobbly it's an interesting it doesn't feel like fat it doesn't feel like water it feels like its own thing uh, very magical because it's your magic organ um so you have to give it a lot of love and a lot of massage and pressure feels good so when you put the binder you're not restricting your stomach in any way because your stomach is still here and you're binding below your stomach and there is so much jiggle and water and stuff that you're not feeling any compression you're just feeling support that was my experience i felt no compression no restriction it didn't feel uncomfortable the only thing is it didn't look that good that was the only thing but in general you're not looking your uh, slimmest to begin with so that's not a consideration and um <sighs> I want to give shout out actually for these pens. Uh, they are magnificent. One of my subscribers sent them to me. I'll link them below to give a, a shout out. A shout out, and she sent them to me when I was just getting pregnant. She sent them from Australia as a gift, and uh, I tried them on, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, those are not gonna fit me for another nine months. Uh, so she waited patiently and I will share probably a photo on Instagram with the, uh, them, jessielee.com. Um, that's her, um, that's her website, uh, jessielee, I will link it below, .com Australia, because I promised to uh, give her a shout out. She does these beautiful patterns, you can see it's kind of like a snake pattern. And she waited <laughs> for uh, nine months for them to fit me again, because they just wouldn't fit me around my belly while I was pregnant. So, yeah, go check out her website. They're, they're gorgeous. Uh, basically, uh, 
the claims that uh, the belly binding uh, companies make is that it's going to remove water faster from your system, uh, air uh, from your system. They even uh, make claims for fat and um, just basically basic pressure. They claim that it will shrink your uterus faster and it will help your organs return to normal and also with diastasis recti it will help bring the loose ligaments faster in together and bring them back in. I, I can't tell you that any of that is true. I can tell you that when I wear it because I wore it for uh, 10 days and then I stopped. I decided, okay, okay, I'm not sure about it. I'll stop wearing it. When I stopped wearing it, I stopped shrinking. So I realized when I was th three weeks postpartum or two and a half weeks postpartum, let me start wearing it a little bit again here and there through the day and maybe through the night here and there and see. And immediately, as soon as I started wearing it, shrinking started to happen again. So it is working, it is helping, it does feel comfortable and it doesn't feel like it's impairing my organs or my digestion. It just feels like it's offering support. In the beginning, it offers support for back pain. Uh, after, right now, I think I'm done with the back pain part. I've been done for quite a few weeks, for one and a half, two weeks maybe, not sure. Uh, but I'm, I feel like I'm done with that part. So now it's just... I'm helping it shrink a little faster and it, it just feels generally good because the uterus kind of feels good from massage and if you do pressure like this it feels good so it just makes sense. Some of the binders have a wire behind. I removed that wire because I just didn't want to feel like I can't move, I can't uh, I can bend. I think if you got really big during pregnancy and you feel very very wobbly even though that's not comfortable, it probably is good because it offers you good posture uh, or it reminds you or it keep, puts you in, in a good posture because you can't slouch and do those things. So all in all, really, I really recommend it. I personally didn't wear it uh, non-stop, so f feel free to buy it, wear it the first week and then wear it as it feels good for a walk during the night because you won't feel it. Also, the one I uh, stuck with is kind of this size. I'll show you in a little bit. Let me show you now. The one I stuck with, it's a, it's a medium priced one. You can go for the uh, a little more expensive ones. Uh, all you want is something to offer, um, to offer uh, general uh, support through this area. And if I'm now to redo it, I'll probably get the 3-in-1 the one, uh, one, which I will link below because it starts from here and it goes all the way down. Uh, but the one I'm using at first, I was using it here because I was swollen here. And then I was moving it down as my uterus was moving down. So now I, I place it pretty low and I like the fact that it has two straps. So you can adjust the two straps. And then it has two side straps so you can kind of keep it all all in together now i don't keep it very tight on me it feels pretty uh, it, it feels pretty comfortable i'm not placing it tight because uh, i just want gentle pressure but i don't want to feel uncomfortable so maybe some of the reviews that say they feel very uncomfortable maybe people are putting them way too tight on i didn't feel like doing that so i just do that and once I place it on, I lift it a little bit because I almost feel that, because your bladder is here, I almost feel that when you lift it, you give your bladder a lift so it can go back to where it used to be. That was one of my issues with my, um, it wasn't an issue, but one of my symptoms during recovery was that my bladder was in shock. So it feels good to kind of do Mula Banda or the Kegels and kind of lift this part of your belly so that you feel that you're lifting things up, which you are actually. Uh, and you're speeding up your recovery when you do that, you're speeding up your pelvic floor recovery and so forth. So um, that these are my thoughts, get it, I do believe it's good, don't uh, place it too tight, don't push it down on, on you because it may put a lot of weight on your bladder or on your perineum, so watch it when you put it on, Feel that, does it offer a support in your perineum? Because you feel all this force in your perineum and you want to feel a lift in your perineum. 
uh, in your perineal area. So when you do a lift in uh, your mula banda, it should feel that it's taking some of the weight off of your perineal area, not pushing down on your perineal area, and that's how you know it's working. If you feel more pressure in your perineal area, then it's not working, and maybe you need a different one, or you just need to place it differently. This one, I like it because it offers you the freedom to place it however you want to place it with the two straps you can place this one a little the lower one a little tighter and so forth and it's just offering nice support uh, around the uterine area and it's really speeding up uh, how fast it is shrinking now if you don't get a girl I think you're gonna probably have the same results your body will return to normal but I do feel that it helped me and uh, this particular one is not a big investment so you, you don't feel obligated to wear it all the time uh, because you spent all this money or like you wasted money it just you're gonna wear it when it is helpful for you um, all the other uh, all the other um, this is how it looks it, it is kind of you are going and uh, have to wear clothes that are a little loose so that it's not and long <laughs> so that it's um, not as visible because if you wear like a tight tank top it is pretty visible uh, but I all in all you just had a baby so get yourself a little wider shirt that's not very thin material like this one and it won't be visible um, that, those are my thoughts on it I like three girdles the most this is one of them i'll link everything uh, below i got this on amazon uh, and um, i like three girdles the most so i link those below um, and if you have experiences with uh, stomach binding please post below because this video i'm gonna leave this video <laughs> on youtube as long as youtube exists uh, so it would be nice for people to have this resource and this information i couldn't find good enough information when I was pregnant so I just figured well I'll get one and just kind of test it out and see how it goes I didn't want to you know do anything that can potentially be harmful to me or, um, because uh, the people that are against it they think it's kind of like more a vanity thing I personally think it's a very useful tool for healing I don't think it is um, um, I wouldn't use it just for uh, the, how it will make my body look it's more of how it makes my body feel and heal so those are my thoughts on it if I um, want to do an update in the future about uh, things that I forgot to mention I'll do a second video but I really I really love it so that's it thanks for watching namaste